Welcome to this two minute tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to get started creating your first mind map using Xmind. So let's begin. When we launch Xmind we are met with this landing screen which gives us several options for creating a mind map. We can either create a completely blank mind map or alternatively we can choose from a selection of existing templates which provide predefined structure and content that you can then edit and adapt. For this example, we're going to create a blank mind map by clicking here. The first thing to do is give our mind map a title, and we do this by clicking the central topic and typing our title in. We're going to call this mind map SWOT Analysis. Once we're ready to start building out the branches of our mind map, we're going to use just two keys on our keyboard, namely the Insert key and the Enter key. To add our first branch, we hit the Insert key and then type what we want our subtopic to say. As the first branch on our SWOT analysis map, this subtopic is labelled Strengths. We now hit the Enter key to add our second subtopic, which we will call Weaknesses. By hitting the Enter key two more times, we can create the final two branches of our SWOT analysis mind map, which cover Opportunities and Threats. Now we're ready to build out another layer of information on our mind map, and once again, we will simply be using the Insert and Enter keys. Starting with our strengths topic, we can hit insert to add customer service as one of our strong points and then hit enter to add office location as a second strength. Moving to our weakness branch, we might add staffing as one of our weaknesses and then use the insert and enter keys to add further detail about our staffing issues. Simply by using the insert and enter keys we can start to build out the detail of our other branches and, over time, build up a comprehensive SWOT analysis mind map for our organization. Congratulations, you've just built your first mind map using XMind. That's it for this tutorial, but don't forget you can view more XMind videos, templates and examples by visiting biggerplate.com.